Welcome back. I'm working on my Suzuki RE5 rotary motorcycle. I now know via my rotary compression tester that this engine has compression and so I'm ready to proceed to try to make it run. First thing I got to do is make an adapter so that I can fasten the electron carburetor that I've bought to the original Suzuki mounting location here. So I've got this piece of aluminum and I'm going to drill some holes in it and make it so it will bolt up here and fasten onto that. And then I'm going to take a piece of round aluminum tubing and attempt to weld that on there and make it so this boot will go on there and then the carb. Let's do it. Here we go. Well, I've got my holes drilled in this piece of aluminum and I've kind of got marked around the bottom corner. I need to cut this corner off to make room for the uh, valve that's there on the engine block. And then I need to mill out a little bit here in the center. That's something I'm just going to do by hand uh, so that the air will flow because I'm going with a single bore carburetor, but it's got to go to the double bore of the RE5. So that's next. Make a cut and do a little machining here. Got my block milled out, it goes like this on the bike. I got this corner cut out and uh, used that grinder. You saw me doing that there to kind of clean up my cuts that I'd made. And now what I need is I need to make a transition right here uh, in this throttle body spacer so that it goes from uh, round to oval to two holes. So this is kind of a new one for me. I'm gonna use this uh, grinder with a mill on the end, see what happens. Check it out. That's the first time I've ever really used an end mill and a grinder to do something like that, but I was able to taper that around. It needs polished up and cleaned up, but wow, that was fun. Pretty cool. All right, the next step, I'm here at our press and I've got my piece of aluminum I've milled out. And what I've got to do is I've got to take this round piece of pipe. That's the size I need to be able to attach the carburetor. And I need to make it an oval so that it will go down onto this uh, oval, somewhat oval shape I have here. So I'm going to squish it in the press and see what happens. Okay, here it goes. It's squishing down pretty nice. I'm going to take it out and see how it matches the shape that we need. What was round is now an oval. Hmm. May not be tall enough. Oh, Ooh, it is right there. Hmm. So one thing I'm noticing here, this bolt this uh this bolt right here that's going to be really tight getting in there with this pipe i think i'm going to ding the pipe in a little bit right here to make clearance for getting at least an allen uh like a, a cap if i'm saying that right socket cap socket screw in there bolt yeah that tight okay the pieces are prepped and ready we're gonna see if we can make these two become one. Here's 
the finished product on the bike. We have an intake. Show you inside here. Uh, there we go, if I hold it straight. Thanks for tuning in and checking out the uh, fabrication of the custom intake here so that we can put a new carburetor on the old RE5. Tune in next time. We'll see what the carb looks like and see how far we can get.